Welcome to this special collection of 50 Lessons, the Doughty Centre 50 Lessons on Corporate Responsibility. The Doughty Centre at Cranfield has been established to inspire and to equip today's and tomorrow's managers with the skills for and the passion to embed responsible business and sustainability in the heart of organisations. We've got three purposes in the Doughty Centre. We're about knowledge creation, research, knowledge dissemination, teaching, and knowledge application, working with a variety of organisations to put all of these ideas about responsible business and sustainability into practice. And these 50 lessons, like the rest of the very successful 50 lessons series, are about capturing the experiences of people, both from this country and overseas, who've had the job of putting into practice ideas of corporate responsibility and sustainability. And I hope that they will be useful in classroom settings, but also for individual learning, and just maybe they'll inspire some more researchers to look at the stories behind the stories. So enjoy this taster of our wider library of Doughty Centre 50 Lessons on Corporate Responsibility. If you do your business fairly, if you show respect to your customers and your suppliers, you're actually likely to be far more sustainable. You'll certainly be seen as more responsible and uh, you're likely to, at the end of the day, actually to have a better financial return. We have to decide who we will act for and who we won't act for. For example, if a company was going to build a nuclear power plant in Kazakhstan, is that something we would do or something we would not do? I began to launch into this story and she said, no. Stephen, I, what, what do you do that, that really matters? And I thought, well, no, that is a tough old question. And this little voice whispered in my ear, you can't lie to Mother Teresa. If we want to influence the agenda uh, for business um, for the next 25 years, you know, it isn't anything we're going to do in Delaware, in Surrey, or in Rotterdam. It's actually going to come out of these very exciting and young companies uh, that are coming out of India, of China, of Brazil. There are always great pressures to do things for competitive reasons. And you're always being tested, um, I feel like morally, as to whether you should do that. You can't separate um, personal moral integrity from corporate moral integrity. And I think a lot of folks think you can. They, they can uh, talk to their son or their daughter and tell them what's right and wrong and then go into the office and do things that are 180 degrees differently. 